how do you learn to code? In this video, I'm gonna give you five tips on how you can start coding no matter your experience level. A few of you haters have been asking for more coding videos, wanting to know how to start coding. So if that's you, buckle up. And if you're not a hater, hit that subscribe button because we just broke 20,000 subscribers. I couldn't thank you guys enough. Let's get this video to 100 likes. Tip number one, the most important thing you can do is decide why you want to learn to code. Some people say they want to learn to code just because they think it's cool. You think you're too cool for school, but I got a news flash for you, Walter Cronkite. You aren't. But in reality, you have to have a motive. You have to know why you want to. Is it to boost your professional experience? Is it because you want to be able to build websites? Is it you want to be able to make a mobile game? Building your first portfolio website or a console program that does some basic calculations. Bottom line is, why do you want to code? That's the most important tip that I could give you. Once you know that, then you have motivation and anytime you're struggling, you can look back on that and you'll know, why am I doing this? Because there will be times when you're really frustrated, trust me. Tip number two, focus on the fundamentals. You don't wanna dive into the deep end too early or you'll get discouraged. Focus on a programming language like HTML, CSS, light JavaScript, even Python is a good starting point for beginners. Not all programming languages are created equal, so you wanna start with something that's gonna be easy to pick up and learn and then build from there. HTML and CSS is a great starting point for most beginners because you don't have to worry about procedural code or advanced algorithms, functions, classes, all that stuff. What you see, often is what you get. You can change the HTML and different text will show up. You can change the CSS and the color will change. The size of boxes will change. It's a really rewarding experience. And that's how I first learned to program was I built my first website. In fact, pretty much every programmer that I know started at some point with HTML, CSS, dabbling a little bit, and then they got into, okay, well, I wanna be able to make it so that when I scroll, it does a fancy animation. Then they got introduced to JavaScript. Then from there, they started to understand objects and object-oriented programming a little bit, and then that's when things really take off. Tip number three is to figure out how you learn the best. Not everyone learns the same way. Some people might learn better by taking an online course. Some people might just wanna dive right in, get in and trial and error it, just figure it out. Some people might need a mentor that's dedicated to help them learn and guide them. Online courses, coding camps, projects that you can compete in. The way that I personally learned the best was to get hands on with it. But the important thing is, is that you're working on a project that you're dedicated to, that you want to make happen. My first big project was a website to house a bunch of flash games so that you could easily add them. And I really wanted to make this happen because I thought it would be a big hit at school since everyone was playing flash games. So. I worked night and day to get that done and learn the basics of JavaScript, HTML, CSS, but it all comes back to how you learn the best. So if you wanna find an online course to teach you whatever programming language you wanna start in, that's a great thing. Also, there's tools online that can teach you. There's apps on your phone that can teach you. So many different ways. It's all about figuring out what works best for you. Tip number four is know when to take a break. There are gonna be times when you get stuck. That's just reality. No matter your experience level, you're gonna get stuck when it comes to coding. I've been programming for eight years and I still get stuck on things. There'll be times when I'm trying to debug code for like three hours and I can't figure out why it's not working. I'll take a break for a couple hours, come back, and the answer is staring me right in the face. Missing semicolon or something small like that, but a fresh look at things will give you a new perspective and you'll be able to work through the problem with a clear head. Another thing that you can do if you get stuck is the rubber duck method, which basically just means you talk through your problem to someone. They don't even need to know what you're talking about, but as you talk through the problem, you might stumble across the answer that you're looking for or where to start Googling. You'll see where the blind spot is that you've been missing. And I find that this is really helpful. Even if I'm just bouncing a problem off of Jeremy and he has little to no coding experience, I still figure it out a lot of the time. And that brings us to our fifth and final tip. And I'm sure you guys already know this, but Google is your friend. If you wanna learn, if you wanna get unstuck, if you want to figure out how to set up your coding environment, Google is your friend. The only thing that I would be cautious about is that if you're trying to implement code somehow and you find code on like Stack Overflow or subreddit or something like that, if you wanna use that code, that's okay. 
but I'd be cautious about not understanding how it works because you might have unintended outcomes that you won't be able to figure out. Sometimes it's actually easier to take a step back, make sure that you understand the fundamentals and what you're trying to do. If it's out of your comfort zone, then maybe you should take some time to build up that knowledge so that you can do it yourself. It's gonna pay dividends in the long run, trust me. I made that mistake. I wanted to like have animations on my website. I wanted to pull data with PHP from a MySQL database without properly knowing how to securely create database connections. That can cause some serious issues, especially if this is a project that's not just for fun. So that's all I would say is Google is your friend, but be cautious about using other people's code if you don't know what it does. So those are the five tips that I thought would help you guys the most on your coding journey. And remember, this is your decision. So if you get stuck or you're not feeling motivated or you don't think it's for you, that's okay. If you do get lost, just remember tip number one, why did you decide to start coding? If you guys have already started to learn to code, I wanna know what you're working on, what programming languages are you using, what projects are you trying to build? Let me know in the comment section. Maybe I could give a hand or give me a link to a GitHub project. Anything that can help you guys on your journey to learning to code. I feel like the programming world is only growing farther. We wanna inspire as many young coders as we can. So let me know what your ambitions are. Anyway, that just about does it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. Peace.